Wonder where it went. There it is. Now that I have this Gremlins 2 back Gremlin, let's go ahead and check it out. Now that this wonderful back Gremlin has been captured and placed on the spinner, let's go over some of its details. First and foremost, check out the wing spread on this figure. It's huge. Loving the leathery texture grain details that highlight off of it when the lights hit it just right. You also have those great and delicate arms and fingers that jut out from the backside connecting to the wing membrane just like a real bat. The face sculpt is super awesome and I feel like the sculpt here is spot on to the Gremlins 2 movie version. Loving those protruding bone spikes on the eye ridge. You also have those iconic Gremlin ears where a lot of love went into it from the sculpt to the paint details. This is truly a face a mischievous Gremlin mom would love. Looking at the main body, it's pretty much perfect here too, representing the movie version with all the care in this articulated plastic figure. You can definitely see the leather grain and the muscle bone structure underneath. Though for the second release version of this figure, the paint job seems brighter with different shades and color intensity from the first release NECA version of this character figure. Now here you have those wicked talon feet used to clutch all manner of rooftops. I always feel like you can tell how well a quality figure is by how well the feet of the figure looks. A part not normally seen, but I want to highlight, is the backside of this figure. I mean, how cool is the spiked, rich back spine that runs down from the neck to the back gremlin's tail? I'm just loving it. Now let's move on to the unboxing and the articulation showcase of this figure. Well now that this back gremlin has been caught, let's open him up. Go ahead and open him up from the side, and just pull him out, like so. Oop, got a little stuck there. There we go. As you can see, he is form-fitted within a clear clamshell. See, he's got a little bit of a secondary part right here where the wings are behind, head sticking out. There might be some strapping, let me look. No, I don't think so, I can't tell. But I'll find out in a second. Looks like he actually does come with a stand part right here, so that's actually kind of cool. And he does come with a cathedral backdrop. So. And just give me one second to get this Bat Gremlin ready to showcase the articulation. Well, now that this Bat Gremlin is out of the box, let's go ahead and check out the articulation. Starting with the head, he spins around quite nicely. He's got great tilting action, as you can see. And he can go downward some and upward some. And as you can tell, there's actually neck movement too. So that's really nice. You can get some great poses that way. And I love these ears. They can close in, just like so, and then pop right back out. Nighttime? Daytime! <laughs> so, oh, and his jaws open up, or his jaw, I should say, and that's really nice. Uh, his arms right here, not much of a T-motion, but they do have, can go back quite decently, up to the point where they hit the wings and back down like so. He does have elbow articulation, would bend really well, as well as some wrist rotation too. Not much in regards to the wrist going inwards or outwards. Legs don't really do much there, but they kind of like splay out, as you can see. Almost frog-like. <laughs> There's also this nice knee rotation right there. The legs do bend like so. And the feet spin around, but nothing downwards or upwards too much, just minor. Does have holes at the bottom of his feet for a peg display stand. And going to the wings, because of how it was packaged, they curl in like so. So if you're gonna try to straighten them out, Right now, they're just gonna curve back. So probably gonna have to use some heat on this. I'll try the old hair dryer method. Uh, they actually do have a joint here. As you can see, there is motion, but they are kind of adhered right there. So you're not really gonna be able to do much with them per se. And I don't know, but is it me? But this version, like these are really purple wings and on the box, just to show you, like they almost look brown with spots on them. I feel like it's very different, this version on the second release. But 
That's not a bad thing. It's just different. But all in all, the articulation is pretty great for a background of this size. And I think he has a really decent wingspan, which I'll go over with in a little bit. Oh, let's check out the stand real quick. Really easy to build. Here's the base. Here's the stand part. Snaps in like so. And the part to hold the gremlin itself snaps in like that. I'm assuming it's gonna somehow get onto the body. I don't understand it quite yet. Maybe at the neck area, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. If not, I got another stand for it as well. So let's go ahead and check out the size of this bat gremlin. Now this bat gremlin from NECA is supposed to stand at six inches tall. Putting the ruler up to this gremlin, it does stand up to six inches when measuring from its feet to the tip of its ears. The wingspan of this bat gremlin is impressive being well over 12 inches, as you can see from my roller. In fact, it actually measures out to be about 18 inches wide. Now for those collecting the Gremlin series, here's the back Gremlin with a few others, just to give you a sense of scale. Boy, I sure hope Gizmo makes it out of this. Now let's check out some of the packaging highlights of this Gremlin 2, the new batch Bat Gremlin. The front of the box, you have a clear display of this figure, with this Gremlin ready to burst forth and take flight. Both sides of the packaging utilize the Cathedral Top Tower, and has a bat gremlin in different poses surveying the mass chaos that it has caused from above. On the back of the box, it has a bat gremlin clutching the cathedral top, which I sure wish this figure came with. You also get a brief description of the bat figure as well as its features. The top has a shadowed silhouette of the bat gremlin behind the Gremlins 2 movie logo. The bottom of the box gives credit to all those involved in creating this gremlin collectible. Now let's move on to my pros and cons opinions over this bat gremlin figure from NECA. The pros. The sculpt. The figure sculpt on this gremlin is on point and it looks really great. NECA did an excellent job on the design of this bat gremlin. Fandom. If you're into collecting the gremlin line, this is an awesome piece to have to showcase your fandom for the film franchise. Now for the cons. The stand. It was pretty cool for NECA to supply this stand, but I honestly didn't figure out how to attach it properly to the figure. In all honesty, a simple peg display stand worked out for me to keep this figure upright requires heat. Now this is not too bad to accomplish, but if you're not used to doing something like this to your collectibles, this could appear to be a very daunting feat. The color of the wings. Now it's not that the coloring on these wings are bad, but looking at the version on the packaging, I prefer the lighter brown coloring that is shown where you can see the spots instead of the darker purple coloring that this figure comes with. Here's one of my favorite parts of the episodes, leaving a shout out to some of my nerd amazing fans. So special shout out to HobbyCon, the Horror Cat Dad, Moving Target Videos, as well as Skywalker 7818, Domestic Mimic, as well as 79 Nin Zombie. Well, if you want to receive a shout out in the next Nerd Amazing Review episode, leave a comment below to get randomly selected. Well, if you enjoyed this Bat Gremlin from the Gremlins 2 movie that NECA released, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the Spider Gremlin that NECA released also, right here. Or you can check out these collectibles as well. So, thanks for joining me here at Nerd Amazing. And as always, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another, as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time.